did it. Good morning and welcome to the Too Good Health Show on WIMO 1300 AM. This is your town and this is your station. And we are here, sponsored by Athens Therapeutics in Winder and the Granary All Natural Bakery in Watkinsville. And we're your hosts this morning, Charles and Cheryl Barrage, owners of Too Good Health based in Winder, Georgia. And we are your premier full-service provider for all your health, fitness, and nutritional needs, always online at 2goodhealthllc.com. Well, to be fit, healthy, and well, it takes two. So we're here to help you today. And how are we helping today, Charles? Well, today we have a special guest. Good morning, everybody. Uh, We have with us today Miss Shonda. Walls. Good morning, Shonda. Bella Good morning. Fitness group. Thank you for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. Now, we know that you're no stranger to uh, Waimo here. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a second home, kind of, sort of. Yeah, but, but we love having you here. Well, so thank thanks you. for coming and visiting with us it's this morning. It's my pleasure. Good. Well, we were, um, you know, as we were talking about having you in, one of the things that we really uh, had a heart really to get out to our listeners was really just some encouragement for them okay because we know right now this is the time of the year when folks are really uh, being challenged by you know um, trying to keep up with their goals you know the goals that they set heading into the new year okay definitely uh, and, and, and we know right about now people are are really need some motivation, needing okay. some encouragement, okay. uh, needing you know that extra bit mm-hmm. of help to right. kind of keep on going. Okay, mm-hmm. so definitely. that's why we were really glad to have you here, at, you know, today. Okay, we well, like, I'm yeah. just happy to be here, and hopefully, I can inspire one or two people who are listening. Absolutely, that's what it's about, one person at a time. Well, if you are listening and you have a question for us through uh, during the show. We invite you to call in, and we are here live on the air, and the number is 678-963-5482. That's 678-963-5482 on the Too Good Health Show. So let's see, what kind of fun things can we talk about with Miss Shonda this morning? Um, well, you know what? I know Shonda, we have something in common. And it's not exactly the thing you want to have in common with with a girlfriend, (laughs) but we do, so we can talk about it. Definitely, (laughs) we can. We both have struggled through our life with weight, weight loss, weight management. Mm -hmm. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about your story? Um, Okay, sure. Well, it's... It started for me, actually, I didn't really have a weight problem until, uh, I would say, after uh, I had started say, having babies. babies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's not that it's a bad thing, but it wasn't right. until then. It, you know, it was just like a com- compounding problem. It just continued, and yeah. I continued to gain weight. And then, eventually, depression set in for a while, for mm. several years. So I was probably overweight for probably seven or eight years. But when I uh, think my, uh, when I was 37... I had my appointment at the, my physical exam at the doctor, found out that my blood pressure was elevated. It had never been elevated before. Mm-hmm. And that was my light bulb moment, and that was really all it took for me to kind of say, it stops right here. Mm-hmm. I knew I was miserable. I'd already been tired of being fat and overweight and just because that wasn't me. I'd always been the cheerleader, the the in mm-hmm. the pageants and the whole thing and I on the dance the team and too. yes, so that was my so you know when you come from that and yes, you know that you absolutely. let yourself go, it was just kind of um mm-hmm. it was time for me to change. And so what happened, um it was like a series of things that happened. I found out about the pressure and I didn't want to take medication. Um a local gym opened near our house. Uh, it was very affordable. I joined the gym. Didn't go for three months because I was just too embarrassed to kind of go and mm-hmm. just I had been so isolated. So I waited until I lost the first 30 pounds before I, went, before I started using the gym. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after that, I learned how to eat, what to eat. And it was just a process of um, changing out my entire diet mm-hmm. and working out pretty much every day. Right. And sometimes twice a day. Right. So um, that's what that's been my story, and mm-hmm. and today it's just a lifestyle look for me now. And if Absolutely. I don't work out, I feel like okay, I've missed an incredible portion of my day. Right. Something was not right today, right. and and lately I've been so busy that I've actually missed a day. Wow. 
Uh, that and happens. That I don't happens. like. Okay. I mean, it's just really abnormal for me. But right. you know, wow. it's it's important to incorporate uh, um, your nutrition, and then you also have to think about um, exercising daily right. and just changing what you eat. Well, you said a lot of key things there that we're gonna get to in a second. But we have a caller this morning. Good morning. Okay. Thank you for calling in to the Two Good Health Show. Good morning, everybody. Good hey. morning. Hey. How are you? <laughs> Hi. Is this Dottie? This is Dottie. Hey, I just Dottie. Wanted to say hi. It's so good to hear from all of you. Oh, my goodness. Um, good to hear from you, too. Yes. Dottie. I didn't want to interrupt your story because it's such a great story. So you can certainly continue. But <laughs> hey to Charles and hey to Cheryl. Uh, yeah. You're doing a good work here. <laughs> and want to make sure that everybody knows we're at full power. So your radio show That's is right. going out about triple the distance it's been going out in the past. So we're really excited about that. Mm-hmm. We are yeah, excited you, about that. Appreciate oh, that. Thanks for calling in, Dottie. You thank have a great you, Dottie. Day. Good to hear from All you. Right. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. All okay. Right. Bye-bye. Um, bye bye. And, and and Dottie's right. You know that is an amazing story. Um, you, thank you you said a few things that are very key and kind of you know make the light bulbs go off. You know you were talking about um, what fitness. Mm-hmm. You know, got got to get our bodies moving. Nutrition. Mm-hmm. You know, it is about what we put into our bodies. It, and then the last one, which I, I mean, we, we like all that stuff, but I really like this one too lifestyle. You know, that's what oh. I'm trying to convey yeah. to other women. Um, I have a blog that shares my life struggle with weight and f- finally getting to a healthy weight and maintaining it. Yes, you know, that's It's not just the about key. losing it, but it's right. about maintaining I it. I think sometimes we think that once you lose the weight, it'll be this magic oh, yeah. thing that happens and the weight doesn't it. come back. Right. If but you don't change your habits. I think that's really when back. the fight begins because you have to yeah. then uh, do this, the things that are going to keep the weight mm. off. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Um, because as soon as you get comfortable and you, you relax and you don't, mm-hmm. you know, continue the weight will yeah. creep back on That's and right. you, before you know it you've gained five pounds and that becomes ten yeah. so mm-hmm. I've managed to you know I haven't had any um, weight gain issues I mean I would fluctuate maybe sure. two to three pounds That's but normal. That's normal. it's a constant thing for mm-hmm. me I mean I just it's like brushing your teeth every day yep. right. you work out you do something and and I try to do things like uh, if I don't work out then I'll run the stairs every time I go up mm-hmm. I'll run up mm-hmm. or if I if there's any t- way that I can jog to the car and even with heels on I'll just mm-hmm. run to the car <laughs> I mean, it's just like <laughs> right, right. the little things that I and do and those little things will add up it really does do. if you are moving just try to put some power and intensity behind every little thing that you do lots Absolutely. of times you can just squeeze in you know, it squeeze an exercise where you wouldn't normally do so, but I think Absolutely. it really makes a difference. Yeah, and, and that's why we really just appreciate what you're doing as far as um, just helping folks and educating people about mm-hmm. the importance of, of lifestyle because I yeah. think one of the biggest challenges for, for us is is really making an impact in terms of changing people's mindset. Yes. Yeah. Because, the, you know, if they, are, if they continue to have that quick weight loss... You know, diet mentality. Yeah, mm-hmm. that That's it's not. Going to, it's you going ha- to definitely be an issue for them. Yeah. Right. I would definitely suggest that you look at it more for uh, as a journey and mm-hmm. not just like you got to get to the hurry. If I want to get this fifty pounds right. off and mm-hmm. then my life will be better. No, right. you've got to take it slow. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's taken uh, two and a half years. Well, it will be uh, three years in May. Mm-hmm. So I didn't look at the scale. I didn't count calories. I didn't. It wasn't this micromanaging process. It's about doing it wasn't the right like things. changing my life. Yeah. Yeah. And I knew right that things. I had to be patient with mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And um, I, I think that's a big key. So for listeners, mm-hmm. that don't rush it and be patient. Yes. You're going to cry. You're going to fight. You're going to yes. be mad at yourself. <laughs> you're going to mess up. Mm-hmm. But, but the, the key going. is to go back the next day. But before, mm-hmm. when I would have McDonald's for a day, you know, and this was when I was eating unhealthy. I would say, okay, well, I just did that. There's no need in starting over. I mean, I might right. as well do it again. But that's right. the thing. Stop right, right there. If you that. can change that right. exactly. and get right back on the exactly. next day, you, you're fighting the battle and mm-hmm. you're going to win if you mm-hmm. continue to do exactly. that. But it's right. when you give in and just you're kind of like, well, I didn't work out yesterday. Why bother today? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm just never going to get it. Yes. If you have that yeah. you, mentality, then you won't succeed. Mm-hmm. But right. it's like a thing where you can mess up one day, but mm-hmm. if you – fight against it the right. next day mm-hmm. it's just it, you're going to win the battle mm-hmm. so Absolutely. for me that was the different thing yes. that I did right.